Whether you're um, a mum at home and you need baby formula. Owner of Extraction Artesian Coffee, Alex Milosevic, has been using Wing for two years. And it's not like we're going to get inundated with a sky full of drones, but it's just the convenience factor in delivering product to customers will become a lot easier. The theatre is slowly coming out of hibernation. Big ticket productions are now returning to the stage. Brady Halls says the industry is raring to go and he joins me now. Hi, Brad. Hi there, Trace. Um, I just want to give you a bit of a surprise. That story actually is going to be on tomorrow night. There's been a change of plans, Tracy. You see, we have something special here for you tonight. You see, folks, this year marks the 40th anniversary of <coughs> Tracy Grimshaw here at Channel 9, which is a remarkable feat given that this industry isn't known for its longevity. <coughs> Tracy, you are an outstanding journalist. You are a wonderful colleague to all of us in the office and a really good friend. So, <laughs> Trace, I want you to sit back and you at home <coughs> and enjoy what you're about to see. 40 years of TG on Nine. <laughs> Four decades on Australian television, you know, is truly quite an achievement. And Tracy's stellar career is something to be celebrated. In fact, we're about to show you some of her more memorable moments on Australian television. So let's start 40 years ago when this young cadet joined this network. Dealer Squad Detectives have invited all members of the public to view the property on Sunday. I remember back in the 1980s when Tracy Grimshaw first joined us at Channel 9 in Melbourne. But only those items reported to Not long out of a cadetship, I think, and was immediately somebody of enormous talent and somebody who everybody liked and enjoyed working with. Tracy Grimshaw, National 9 News. Not possible to tell by the brand name alone. The streets are filled with sightseers. So would you like to take the opportunity to make any comments about Bill Hayden's reign as leader of the ALP? All into the hands of a hostile nation, 35 men with dozens of brand new vehicles. Whether the rest of us do... This is <laughs> National Line Morning News with Tracy Grimshaw. Good morning. The housing industry has warned of massive job losses. Tracy Grimshaw. Well. Good evening, John. Hello, everyone. Vanity I before... Like possibly. Oh. <laughs> What was it like working with Trace on the Today Show? I would say it was a great professional marriage. And you know, in that decade, almost decade, that we worked together, never was an angry word exchanged. It became a great friendship that lasts today. <laughs> oh, got me. Now, Tracy, one thing we've got to clear up, since you're the new kid on the block now, uh -huh. uh, pushes all off me, right? I'm the whipping post, I don't am I? Any flack. And he is out. This is Stuart David. Well, this is the beach where they landed. Six coming to you from Kakadu National Park. Do you know who they fantasise about? <laughs> <laughs> well, now I can see that. Quentin Tarantino is down by the swimming pool. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's waving to me. That's <laughs> Quentin Tarantino waving to me. What was it like the first time you stood? Yeah, they're like jelly. But we didn't tell the paramedics that. No. Here they come. There it is. It's true. They're back. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I remember when Tracy was first a reporter, she stood out from the crowd, as she always does. Then she took over from me as the host of A Current Affair. Sorry, um, she put me to shame. She's, uh, she's so good. And uh, so I love what she does and I love watching her. You could say he's got no case to answer, for, answer and you're not doing that. That's a good question. Not the kind of woman you feel threatened by. Because she wasn't the cliche midlife crisis Sports Illustrated model that you, you know, yeah. People's husbands run away with. Right. She was 19 years old. She was naked. She was outnumbered. There was a very clear power imbalance in that room, wasn't there? Tracy, I was, I was unaware that she was 19. And I remember leaning down and putting my hand on Jamie's cheek to see if like, she was still warm, because then maybe I could bring her back. But she was cold. <laughs> Just turned around and told her the Ningo. Had his baby in its stomach. Look, if you want to take a break, you can do that. <laughs> Does it make it any easier? No. <laughs> and I'm not going to sit meekly and let some arrogant narcissist bully me. I'd just like to take this opportunity to apologise um, for the stupid comments. The women that I particularly enjoyed interviewing and, and I enjoyed flirting with. And... No, really? yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you made a very old man very happy. Got a little bit of lipstick oh. on your teeth and I don't want to let you go on like that. Fixed. Good woman. <laughs> Sisters. 
see this poking his head out there? Where? You need a camera to see it. <laughs> what do you think of television now? I'm disappointed. And these are the scenes that are repeated all around Christchurch. It is extraordinary devastation. Hello. Hi, how are you going? I think I'm a bit better than you. Yeah, poor us. And there's nothing left. We've never seen anything like this. These fires have taken and destroyed so many lives and the pain of that loss is being felt by thousands of Australians around the country tonight. All around the world we bring the noise, we turn it up. Coming to you tonight from Quebec City in Canada. From London, from Hollywood. So I know from Portia this is like a big show in Australia. You are also carrying the dreams of everyone who's ever been bullied, ever been misunderstood. Maybe it was, I was really saying, if I could do it, you can do it. Have you told Hollywood that? I would have thought that they would be beating down your door. I'm waiting for them to come and knock on my door. <laughs> Why did you feel you needed to do this album? Because I was so saddened by the election results. If we look back at your evolution, if you like, a challenging childhood, you suffered sexual abuse as a nine-year-old. You had a pregnancy at the age of 14 and the baby died after a few days. Mm -hmm. Things like that would break a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Why did they not break you? Four years ago, we took the unorthodox step of naming former Hey Dad star Robert Hughes as the man accused of multiple counts of child sexual assault, both on and off the set of the top-rating sitcom during the 1980s. Can you understand the disincentive mm. there is for people to speak? Yes. And the court process is brutal. I've worked in television for 36 years and most of them in prime time and it's been robust and no one's ever showed me a donkey bestiality video or, or tried to pull my bra off or... Well, I've never actually seen a donkey bestiality video. I've never owned one and I would never show one to anyone. There are a lot of people lying here. If you've never said it, Don, there are a lot of people lying. Working with horses is great therapy. I think it's good for the soul, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. There are so many kids who make this choice there and there are so many, too many families who are in your position. Too many. And there shouldn't be. No. There shouldn't be. And I've coupled this shit all the time and I'm sick of it. Why are you still in it? Look at you. Why don't you walk? <laughs> I mean, look, at what, look at what it's doing to you. This is on her Instagram page. I am a strong woman. I don't sit around feeling sorry for myself. I am a survivor, not a victim. My girls will grow up being strong women. That's right. Yeah. Who understand their worth. Yes. <laughs> Is that last bit they will not grow up? Given how vigilant you all were in the lead up to APEC, what did you learn from that? That's a bit of a tough one. <laughs> <laughs> not doing anything about tax. So bull. No more of that. No case. more of that. Perhaps you'd be better off starting to actively discriminate against Neanderthal men, like the so called Big Swinging Dicks Club that Julie Bishop says stood in her way, or tried to stand in her way. Yeah, well, that was disgraceful. <laughs> Surprise. Oh, my goodness. I should have known. Because, you know, uh, we, we should share this with people. Brady's saying, well, I'm doing this thing, and, you know, I'm, I might be outside a theatre. Well, which theatre will you be outside? And, you know, I, I need to say something to you. Oh. Oh, yeah, well, I don't... I'm not entirely sure. Yeah. And I'm, I've, I've told that many white lies this afternoon. Oh. I'm going home to, to repent. <laughs> But anyway, that was wonderful little tribute. Oh. It's not over. But that was a oh. wonderful little tribute because, honestly, there were so many tears, there was so much laughter and so much joy and all that. You've done a lot, haven't you? I was just thinking <laughs> I've been very, very busy, but I've had 40 years to be busy. Yeah, indeed. I must admit. We've been, and I've had the blessing of being able to be with you, too. I mean, we've done three shows together. In the 90s, we were on uh, the Today Show. We did. The Midday Show together. The Midday Show. And this century, we've been doing ACA a together. ACA. So, And I, 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 I love it with you, Trace. Truly, I do. Well, that's You're... mutual, Braid. We've been stalking each yeah. other, and we... I, I couldn't think of a better person to stalk me or to stalk. Indeed, we have. Thank you, darling. Anyway, after the break. Oh, no, no, no. No more surprises. It doesn't end. We have more. Uh oh. <laughs>